Guys, y'all take a look here at how much Nikki's babies have grown up. I haven't seen them in a little while, so this is just absolutely fascinating to see. It warms my heart seeing these boys growing and maturing. Just take a look at the bruiser right here. My dad and Jamie have been calling him Patches. I'm not sure where they got that name from, but I always call him the bruiser. If y'all recall, when he was a baby, he was... He was a tank, just a machine. He would sit there and bruise and bulldoze through his brothers to get to his mama's teat first. And then when he got older, he was just a bully with reckless abandon. And that's why I called him the bruiser. The crazy thing now is that his two brothers seem to be the ones all hyper and wild. And he is the most laid back and calm of the three. You changed so much, little buddy. Look how big you've gotten. You've grown so much. Here, I'll come back to you in a second. I gotta go see what your brothers are up to first. What are y'all doing? Y'all acting all crazy? Y'all fighting like little maniacs? Look at you, that's actually really cool. Look at this one right here. How one side of the face is white and the other side is gray. Like even the nose, even the nasal um, bone or whatever it is, is like split down the middle. I want, if you'll sit still for just a moment, Look how even his nose is split down the middle. One side is gray and the other side is white. That's actually the coolest thing. Oh, Millie got her chew toy. That's what she's got to play with now since her sister's in the hospital. Y'all know that old Fiona had a little injury. So my dad's old. Trixie, come here. Trixie. 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 Trixie, come here, Lozad. Come on, Trixie. Come on. I know you hear me. Good girl. There you go, Trixie. Oh, you're so tired. Such a hot day out. It's actually really not a hot day. It's very cool out here. Oh, my gosh. See, <laughs> seeing this pose brings back a really funny memory. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Let me tell you what this reminds me of. So, before we had I'm a Survivor Sanctuary. My dad and I always had a few animals. We didn't have nearly as many as there is now. At this point, there's like hundreds, if you count all the feathers. But we had a few dogs, maybe a goat, um, a pig, just different little things like that because we've always lived in a rural area even before the sanctuary. I remember one boxer we had back in those days. His name was Tank. I'm not sure if my dad has ever told y'all about Tank before, but he was the male that we had before, Maggie. And I remember Tank, I guess the previous owner that, I don't, I don't know if the previous owner Tank had before us was abusive or anything like that, but I know that when, when we would ever get on to him for doing something that he wasn't supposed to do, like digging in the trash or... You know, just whatever a dog does that's disobedient. We would never be mean or anything like that, but you just can't have dogs breaking all kinds of rules and stuff like that. So we would just kind of try to be stern and be like, Tank, no. And when we would do that, he would cower down kind of like Trixie was doing and get in that same exact pose on his back with the legs sprawled out. And it just didn't make any sense as to, as to why he would do that. And then he would pee. That was the worst part of it all is that he would like projectile urine up into the air that basically into our faces and so we basically couldn't get on maybe he was tricking us maybe he was actually sitting there tricking us making us think that he was scared or had trauma but in reality he just made us think that if we ever spoke to him in a stern voice that he would pee on us and so that stopped us from really feeling like we could get on to him for anything long story short tank ruled that house tank ran all of the activities that went on over there he was untouchable if you want to put it that way. So maybe he was just playing us the whole time. But yeah, nonetheless, if we ever said tank, no, or stop it, tank, he would flop over in that pose and then shoot pee up into the air at us. And what are you going to do? There's something you really can do at that point. You just got to, oh, whatever, get digging into the trash or whatever else a dog does that they shouldn't do is better than peeing on us. So... I don't know. I bet you a lot of little children are like that. I bet many of you, if you have little children, had kids that were little at one point, perhaps even pets of your own have 
experience the same thing or something similar to what I'm referring to. You know, they're doing something they shouldn't be doing and you get onto them, but then they act all innocent like they didn't mean to or they don't know what they're doing. Or even worse, they do something in retaliation or in response to you getting onto them. And then you sit there and think, well, gosh, that's even worse than what they were doing in the first place. So you kind of sit there to force, you're, you sit there and you're forced to let them continue breaking whatever rule they're breaking because what the alternative is so much worse do any of y'all have examples of things like that in life i'm trying to think of another example in my own life i don't know hello bev hi bev she's about a hee-haw I can tell you're revving up your vocal cords about to go. That's, that was pretty good. That was actually a really good impression. I'm not going to lie. On a scale of 1 to 10, I would give myself an 8 for that impression. What other impressions can I do? Dixie doesn't do much as far as noises go. The only thing that horses really do is. That's my horse. Who else is a distinct noise that they make? That's my cornholio. Who else? It's my dog. Okay, I'm going to stop. I'm probably really, really annoying y'all with that, so I apologize. You see, those are tiny little dog, but you're sweet, though. So delightfully charming, ritzy. Oh, pee time. Can't video that. I'm afraid I'm going to get a strike. I'm just kidding. They've never actually given me a strike before for filming that, but don't want to take any chances because you never know. You don't know what, guys. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. With that said, I hope y'all enjoyed. Y'all be sure to let me know in the comments what kind of stuff you guys want to see. Hope you all have a great day, and as I always say, your boy Ellie out.